I'm MWG and let's get right into the tech news. This video isn't going to be a regular normal video for me where I'm going to tell you about the latest in technology news. But today is going to be a reaction video, which should be pretty fun. I'm going to be reacting to the latest Samsung commercial called Growing Up. This video has actually been a little controversial, especially with those 30,000 dislikes. This video is about Samsung, who's most notably the competitor towards Apple. They released the S series and the Note series, very close competitors with Apple. Most people think of Samsung as a flagship maker for Android, but now that title doesn't really belong to Samsung. You got Google out there, LG, a lot of companies trying to buy in on that title. Their growing up commercial is about Apple versus Samsung ever since 2007 to now present time. I gotta admit, this commercial was pretty funny, especially the part at the end with the notch, but let's get into it part by part so I can analyze and, you know, roast this commercial. The first clip is from 2007. This is when the first iPhone was released. It shows an Apple store with people waiting in line. Honestly, this part just shows that Samsung was kind of jealous of Apple making their first phone because Samsung wasn't even the first Android phone to be on the market. HTC gets that title. Waiting in line is part of the experience. It's boring yet exhilarating, but you're about to get your brand new phone. And when you're waiting with other people that are about to get the same exact phone as you, that's exciting. Samsung does not have this one bit. You don't see people lining up outside Samsung phones every single year. You only see that for Apple. I think this is a little part of jealousy from Samsung. They're trying to prove a point that waiting in line is bad, but in turn, it's actually good. It's kind of part of the experience. It's kind of fun. Trust me, I waited in line for Snapchat Spectacles when that came out in New York City. That was a fun experience. Boring, but it was fun in the end. Life is all about experiences, and waiting for a new iPhone every year is for sure an experience. The next clip skips all the way to 2010 when the guy has a brand new iPhone yet again. He's taking a picture, but when he tries to take a picture, this is the classic thing that other companies make fun of. Cannot take a photo. Yes, you ran out of storage. Wow. For one, this little clip isn't supporting Samsung at all. It's actually supporting Apple, and let me tell you why. This is supporting Apple because Apple made a phone that you actually want to take pictures with. Whoa, whoa. So when you take enough pictures and videos, you are going to fill up your storage. I'm sure you can fill up your storage too on your Samsung phones. It happens to everybody. I don't know why Samsung is pointing out out this specific case. The next clip skips to 2013 when yet again this guy is opening up the brand new iPhone. This time the iPhone 5S. So the next clip has this guy getting a girl's phone number out in the snow. The girl has the latest Samsung Note phone and while well, he has the iPhone 5S. He says to the girl, wow, that's a big screen. That's a big phone. Once you pause the video and you put the phone side by side and you can look at them, yes, the Note has a way bigger screen, but you can clearly see that the iPhone is clearly better designed. For one, the girl's putting Eric's phone number in her notes, while Eric is actually putting the girl's phone number in his contacts. I don't know why would be putting it in a note instead of a contact. That goes beyond my thinking. Just put it in the context. Second, notice on the note how it has the Samsung logo on the top and on the iPhone 5S, it has no branding on the front at all. I'm gonna be straightforward with you. I think having the word Samsung on the top of the phone was the worst idea possible for Samsung. It looks hideous. And yet again, look at the note. It's running Samsung skin of Android software. It's not stock Android. That's the closest thing to iOS. iOS and stock Android are nice and simple and fast. Samsung skin on Android is kind of disgusting, in my opinion. Sure, the Note has some extra screen, but the iPhone 5S clearly has the better design. Especially, just look at the LED buttons on the bottom of the Note, ugh, that doesn't look good. The iPhone 5S with nice black bezels look good. The next tiny clip is from 2015. He's waiting in line for the newest iPhone yet again, but it's raining. Oh, sadly, it's raining. I think this is another jealous clip from Samsung because nobody waits in lines for the Samsung phones. People wait in lines for the newest iPhones. Sorry, but that's just the way it happens. The next clip is the next year after 2015, which is 2016. And Eric is with his girlfriend on a pier. They both fall into the water, but the girlfriend has the latest Samsung S6, which is waterproof. But well, Eric also jumped in with his iPhone. 
But guess what? He had to put his phone in rice because it got wet. This is the part where I clearly don't understand. 2016 was last year. What happened last year is that Apple released the iPhone 7, a water resistance phone. I don't understand why Samsung is making fun of Apple even though they have put out a water resistant phone. I guess Eric was on an iPhone upgrade program, but all of a sudden he stopped getting the newest iPhone. But meanwhile, Eric's girlfriend has the latest smartphone technology, so it's water resistant. Poor Eric. Then it skips to 2017, where the guy is opening up an iPhone 7. This is where the commercial lost me. I think the commercial has the timeline wrong. This year is 2017. Apple released the iPhone X this year. Like I said, I don't think Eric's no longer upgrading to the latest iPhone. I think he's lagging behind a year. But in this clip, Samsung is making fun of Apple for not having that headphone jack. This reminds me of last year when Google made fun of Apple for not having the headphone jack, but now this year they removed the headphone jack. I just went over this in the last video. Apple provides plenty of options. And this video is trying to watch some YouTube while charging his phone, but in real life, this isn't gonna be a problem. You A, just go wireless and get a cheap wireless headset, which you could truly find for as cheap as $20, or it could be a cheap steak and be annoyed that your phone isn't sitting at 100% all the time. Yes, I completely understand that it's just my opinion, but no one needs a headphone jack. Move to the future, that is wireless. Soon Samsung is going to remove the headphone jack. Look at what Google just did. They made it for the Apple last year, but now they removed the headphone jack because they realized that that's the way to go. So right now Samsung is making fun of Apple for removing the headphone jack, but soon Samsung is going to do the exact same thing. The next clip takes place in November, 2017. So we're still not leaving the year of 2017. This is where Samsung puts in a clever joke about the iPhone X. Eric is walking past an Apple store where people are waiting in line for the iPhone X. Well, one guy who's waiting in line for the iPhone X has the notch haircut. Do you know how the top of the iPhone X looks with the screen and you have a notch on the two sides? Well, that's a guy's haircut. Honestly, this is a nicely inserted joke by Samsung because people are complaining about the notch on the iPhone X. But I've played around with the iPhone X in person and the notch really isn't an issue. It's for sure more of a positive, more screen real estate. And who doesn't love the screen going edge to edge? That's just beautiful. On the Note 8, yes, you do have curved edges, but you do have a bezel on the top and bottom. On the iPhone X, it's completely edge to the other edge. Looking back at it though, Samsung probably should have made a joke about Face ID, but they made a joke about the notch in a clever way. And the Samsung commercial ends with Eric walking away from the Apple store and is saying, upgrade to Galaxy. There's one thing I learned from this video, and it's not about not needing a headphone jack or anything else. It's about that Eric is rich. Just think about it. Eric has been upgrading to every single iPhone iPhone every single year up to 2017. So then in 2017, he wanted to switch to Samsung, which I don't understand why, he got the Galaxy Note 8. So that means he spent close to $2,000 on two different phones in 2017. If I'm that rich, I'm gonna carry around an iPhone X and a Galaxy Note 8. I'm not just gonna carry one phone, but who cares, it's just a commercial. I hope you enjoyed this little fun video and then the next video will bring back the tech news. Make sure you smash that subscribe button right here to stay informed and I'll see you in the next one.